Hey guys, it's Katie Taylor at ScrappingKatie.com, where I show you how to preserve your family's memories through the art of scrapbooking. In today's video, I will be putting together one of these subscription layouts from the Craft with Heart subscription. And I'm starting with just punching out the die cuts for layout one. Now the die cut sheet and the sticker sheet are clearly labeled which layout they go to. Each month, you it comes with two two-page layouts. In this video, I'll be only putting together one of the two-page layouts and only one of the layouts from the two-page layouts. Here's a look at those gorgeous pre-printed layout bases. I'll be using this one and I have it lined up on my Versa mat and I'm pulling out my T ruler. For this particular layout, it has a bunch of strips of patterned paper. Again, these are from the die cut sheet. So by using my T-Ruler and my Versamat, it ensures that I have those lined up correctly. I do have the Fully Color Illustrated Guide off to the side. Taking note of where Close to My Heart has placed those. So if you are new to scrapbooking, these kits are wonderful because all the guesswork is done for you. Now this one I will kind of adapt more for my photos. The photos for this layout are portrait and then of course my photo is a landscape. So I'm going to finish adhering these strips of pattern paper down, take a look at that, and then we will take a look at the photo mat. So the photo mat comes with these two pieces of pattern paper. It's supposed to be portrait, but again, I'm using landscape. So I pulled out my photo. I'm just kind of take a look at the placement of those, and I have decided that I want to cut them apart. So I'll have some at the top of my photo and some at the bottom. I'm going to lay these out and then kind of look to where I want them. I kind of want them up above that top piece and then down below that bottom strip of pattern paper. So I've got those adhered to the back of my photo and now it's time to actually adhere them to the layout. Now I definitely want the um, green that I have at Seabrook, I want that um, pop dotted and I want it um, going opposite directions, almost like an alligator. So I've adhered those and then adhered it to my photo. Now there are a lot of layers. I have my photo on 3D foam tape and then those Seabrook pieces on photo on uh, 3D foam tape. Bringing out that T-ruler again, I want my photo straight and it really doesn't matter about those mats. We are done with the Versa mat, so I'm going to remove that. And now I can take a look at the other die cuts and the sticker sheet. So far, for part of my title, I want to use the word joy. So I am just backing these tags with some pattern paper from Christmas Story. And I'm using liquid adhesive, and that allows me to put the pattern paper on and then just kind of manipulate it to make it sure it's straight. I could have cut two tags, um, one out of the cardstock and then one out of the pattern paper, but I just decided to freehand that pattern paper. So that liquid adhesive makes it really easy to kind of manipulate that. I'm going to get the center of that O glued down and then I am starting to place these. I am going to bring out my um, ink and go ahead and ink around those tags. You guys who are not new here know that this is one of my favorite things to do, especially with light colored cardstock, it just kind of makes it pop. And then I am going to ink around this. Now this is one of the die cuts. I end up cutting this apart here in just a second, but I love the sentiment. Just gonna, it's going to go a whole lot better with my word joy. So until I decide what to do, you guys know that I love to just go ahead and get down what I know is going to happen. So those pennants up at the top and then two little heart stickers. Again, this is almost directly from the subscription handout. I'm also going to peel off some of the stickers. So I've kept the sticky on the sticker and I'm adhering it in the middle and then just lifting up some of those pieces at the end, those leaves, and I'm going to add 3D foam circles underneath there. You can also add 3D foam tape, but I find that these circles are the perfect size to just tuck under, especially when um, pop dotting them is an afterthought like this one. So I'm going to get those adhered down, add one more underneath those yellow little sprigs. And who would have known that yellow actually goes with Christmas photos? But it does, and I love that actually the grass in this photo is almost yellow. 
I've got one more twig to pop dot with a circle. And then I am going to bring out the sticker sheet again and go ahead and adhere some hearts around that floral piece at the bottom. Again, this is almost exactly um, like the instruction guide calls for. There's also another floral piece that I'm going to put in the top right. But first, I am going to actually cut this apart. Now, again, I love the sentiment, but because I've added the title Joy, I think that it's going to be really cute if I actually use Season and then Cut Of. And I can use the rest of this die cut on either the other layout or maybe even another project. I'm going to ink up this of again with that ink. The season is already inked up because I did that a while ago. And then I am going to just adhere it down over that photo with liquid adhesive. Now that bottom part of season is cut pretty tight, so I can't tuck it too far underneath that photo. As far as the joy goes, I do have 3D foam tape on the back of these tags. So I'm laying them down, but you will notice that I'm not pressing too much until I'm sure they're straight. So I'm going to reposition the O and the Y right quick and then get those adhered down by pressing on them a little bit more than I have. I'm going to add liquid adhesive to the back of this of and kind of put it off to the left of the J. And then I am going to add that floral piece at the top right of the photo. I do decide to flip this so the yellow will be up top. But before I do that, I am remembering that I want to put these foam circles on the back and what better way to do that than now so I don't have to tuck them later. So I'm going to get that done and the backing peeled off of those. And then here's where I decide to flip that. So I've got the yellow up top because in the other floral piece at the bottom left, the yellow portion is down at the bottom. So I thought that was just a nice, nice offset. And then of course the yellow strip of paper in the middle. I'm going to be adding some golden rod stickles to the center of these poinsettias. Now, if you're not new here, you probably know, and you're probably even telling me, Katie, you might not want to do that yet because you haven't added things to the holes of the tags, which I love to do. But you know, each time I just think that I can do it, I can do it. So I've added those. You'll be able to see all the shimmer and shine here in just a second. Here is where I decide to add ribbon to the holes of those tags because I just don't like leaving tags unfinished. All is going pretty well until I bring out my glue dots to actually adhere the ribbon down. I am going to trim these tails off just a little bit. Again, still all is well with those super wet stickles that I just added. So I've got a micro glue dot. I'm picking it up with my piercer. And then here is where I realized that I got stickles all over the end of those glue dots. But never fear, I am going to use this paper piercer and you can actually just pick up the wet stickles and form it back into little dots. So I've got that done. I am going to continue to add glue dots to these ribbon tails. And then that is pretty much it. Here is a look at the layout. Here are some still shots. Again, I'll leave everything linked down below as well as a link to check out the layout subscription. We also have a card subscription. And just like the layout, everything is included. You have die cuts and a fully color illustrated guide. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you won't miss another crafty video. Thanks and have a wonderful week.